Hey everyone, Dr. Joe Ferrantelli back here with Posture Screen, the posture analysis tutorial. This time we're gonna go through a clinical view of four of you. Now caveat with this is the person that I'm gonna uh, demonstrate this on doesn't have his shirt off, okay? Routinely in the clinic or in a gym situation, we highly recommend that they're at least in very tight fitting clothing or use clothes pins to tighten up the clothing because the more clothing uh, that the bagginess is removed, the more accurate it's gonna be. When I was in practice, I had to change the clothing for all my patients, and we just had to do laundry a lot, right? And it was all in grays and blacks and things that would be uh, consistent from exam to exam. With that being said, ideally I would have a man's shirt off and fairly snug shorts, not spandex, but fairly uh, tight shorts, okay? Women I'd have in a sports top. Um, and the, the better revealing the clothing, the better your assessments are going, going to be, okay? If you're in a screening environment or you can't do that, um, that's up to you with your decision making. So when I demonstrate like the poster review on him, just know I can't see the spinal landmarks, okay? I don't have x-ray vision either, but I'm just doing this because he has his shirt on. Just wanna drive that point home because people misrepresent that, oh, I thought we could do this with their clothes on. Yeah, you can. You can also take a picture of the darn wall and digitize the wall too, right? So with that being said, come on guys, let's use a little common sense here. With that being said, and hopefully you like my sense of humor, otherwise I get bored doing these videos, I'm gonna go ahead and do a four view assessment. So come on, going. I already started Tim on this. And so I'm not gonna go through how to put in his information. What we're gonna do here is I can either hit the plus sign or a new screening. So I'm gonna hit new screening, and then it comes back up. What do I wanna do again for a new screening? We're gonna go ahead and hit posture analysis. It carries over their information. Okay, if you have to adjust their weight, maybe this was a follow-up exam you know, five weeks uh, ago. If you need to update any of that, go ahead and do so. And just know that you can always put notes down in here for your, the four of you assessment, any clinical notes that you wanna do, that does not get sent to the patient. I'll have a separate tutorial on that, okay? So let's go ahead and do this, and remember, his shirt is supposed to be off, okay? So let's go ahead and do this. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna come in here, snap the picture. We're gonna go a little faster this time, okay? Go ahead and turn. And notice I'm keeping an eye on the floorboard in the back there to keep that as level as possible. Okay, back up here, and there we go. And he's gonna turn towards the wall. Okay, poster review. Okay, he's standing nice and crooked for me. That's good, hold still. Okay, now I, ideally, now, can I see his landmarks? No, I can't. So I'm just going through the motions on telling you what we're supposed to do here. Always looking, make sure it's green, perfect. All right, here we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we can go ahead and hit start digitization. Double check the points, so on this one, I'm just gonna go through this fast just because I don't need to go ahead and belabor the points on this with you here. Double check those points here. Now I have the advanced module turned on. The difference is we gotta put a point at the orbit, okay, and I'll show you in a tutorial, another video, how to turn this on. We're gonna come down to, it always tells you up here what to hit. So approximately C7 spinous, the apex of the thoracic kyphosis. And since we can't see his body, I know his body comes in here. That's just the bagginess of his shirt because he's very, very thin. So lower spine T12, L1, it's around the elbow level, just because I've done so many of these. Double check the PSIS and ASIS area, belt line. Double check these points, okay. Pretty good, right? So now let's go ahead and fill in the, the dots that I can't do, okay. So now, of course, I can't see what we're doing here. I, I don't have x-ray vision, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and just bisect the differences here. Okay, and we'll go, come down here. And you can always adjust this, like if I came in here now you could palpate these points if you wanted to. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that you can go ahead and move these points around. But just do your best as a clinician. Um, you can palpate, you can pre-mark areas that you want to here as well, okay? So we just got this. I'm just trying to make it look like it's going down his spine, okay? There we go, perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and next. Make sure I hit, this one, I moved the camera a little bit while I was snapping the picture, sorry about that. 
That's pretty good. Now I move the camera. You can tell I move the camera because it lost the tracking. So all you do is just bring this down like this and there you go. Okay. And now we have the four view assessment. Now what's cool about this is and I'm going to uh, talk about this in just a second here. Not only can you do pronation, supination of the foot and things like that too, but one of the things that you can do is why we're doing two lateral views is we're averaging the left and right side for our overall sagittal balance, which is cool. Because imagine this, if my head's forward and we're looking at the right side and my head's slightly turned because that's their normal, ab their, their abnormal posture, slight head rotation, it makes it look like to the camera that the ear is farther forward, right? And then if I turn this way, the ear is farther back. So what we're doing is we're going to average those values, average the thoracic kyphosis, average the CVA angle. Um, so those are some more important things, especially if you're doing research. Um, they're real important things to do, but here is what you need to do and be aware of. As a, as a clinician or a fitness professional, do not send them this four view report because there's no explanation. It's just a bunch of numbers, right? They don't understand that. Don't send your patients that. And if you put, if you have clinical notes, you can go ahead and put your notes in here too. Okay, and of course, just like normal, it always has their posture images at the end. What you send to the, the client or the patient is always the two view report. The two view makes it simple for them to understand about how their head weighs 40 pounds, things like that. So always use that assessment for doing a posture, okay, um, to send to your clients. Hopefully that answers some questions and remember, when doing these in the office or in the facility in a, in a gym, when possible, try to have men with their shirt off in tight fitting shorts, no shoes, make sure you have their height legitimate, okay? It, it really helps out quite a bit. And uh, for women, sports tops and shorts, okay? Until next time, I'm Dr. Joe Ferrantelli. Thanks for using Posture Screen.